morning guys and welcome to a new vlog as you can see i'm at home dropped off the kids getting ready for the day <laughs> and i thought i have to vlog you know what all the weeks they're just like Oof! and all of a sudden it's friday so today it's friday and uh, yeah let's hope my editor can edit this until sunday otherwise we'll see <laughs> Whilst he was here this week and we were filming a collaboration and then he was like, yeah, I've seen your YouTubes and like I miss the, the old vlogs where you could like come along when you were working out and like all these things and I was just like, yeah, me too, I miss that girl as well. I'm not her anymore, but I really want to get back into it. I feel the best when I have a routine and like working, you guys know how much I love working out. Like, oh my God, I love it. That was my personality back in the day. But recently the last few months or even year I would say I haven't really been now I don't even know when I did a workout last I did a Pilates session like two weeks ago maybe just at home 15 minutes <laughs> just to like get into it but then it's just so much all the time but I can blame it on that or I can just say that I'm not prioritizing it so it is time to do it so I thought well see here you go I'm gonna do a workout and you get to come along I also have a little bit of issue. I'm super pale now, as you can tell. Um, I don't like it. I prefer to be tanned. But I got like, um, now it's almost gone. Sometimes, I think it started maybe two years ago. I got like, perioral dermatitis, a bit. I don't know exactly how to say it in English. Perioral dermatit, I think it's called in Swedish. But you, you get what I'm trying to say, I guess. Uh, so I, get, I got just like a few spots of it last season exactly this time of the year so I got like a cream for it uh, but now this time I think it started like a week ago I got super dry it felt like around my like here where you usually always get that uh, but I've never had that full-on breakout before it wasn't really full-on breakout either but then I tried like with a mask like super hydrating mask which only made it worse so when you have this you should like not put any thick creams no makeup no nothing uh, so now I've been doing this cream and like no thick creams or anything around this area So now it's almost gone, but I feel like you know when you feel super dry You just want to put on a fat cream, but that's the worst thing you can do. So yeah, now I'm just leaving it like this So yeah, hello from the pale me. Let's go down and I'm gonna tell you something downstairs as well <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna do a workout here today down here Okay, let me tell you what also happened when Masa was here. We were gonna Turn on the fireplace for the first time. Uh, we had the, the guy here that checks, so it's all fine. And he was like, yeah, everything is good. Everything is clean. Everything is fine. You just go ahead and put on the fireplace. So we did. Me and the kids were here. Mwasi was here, luckily. We turned on the fireplace, but we couldn't open. Like, this was completely stuck. So we couldn't open it. So it was smoke everywhere. Uh, the fire alarm went off. Uh, the alarm company called me and like, is there a fire going on? I was just like, no, can you turn it off? And they were like, we can't do anything, you have to do it yourself. So we were like, turning off the fire alarm maybe eight times. So I was like, imagine if this house is burning down, because <laughs> we couldn't stop it. So in the end, we just poured water on it, opened every window, <laughs> every door, everywhere. It was just, and it still smells a bit like smoke. So that was a fail. But then a guy that helps me with the stuff around the house, like the electricity, everything. He was here checking and he was like, yeah, maybe this is broken. But then he pulled it out and spin it. And that's how you open it. I was just like, am I that stupid? Am I too? So we were just like, oh no, okay, it was that simple. <laughs> so now we can do it. But I was like, I'm not doing it in a long time because it still smells like a fire is going on here. So now I'm gonna actually do it soon have all the wood ready um and yeah it, it would be cozy to you know sit here and watch the fireplace and then look out but uh, yeah now you know i'm still learning how's life you know but now i'm gonna do a workout and oh my god i'm pale but i, I don't want to do it since this skin like you know a spray tan since it might get give me a breakout but whatever let's do a workout Oh, 
that felt so good. I'm gonna be sore though, I just did a 15 minute uh, Pilates workout. I wanna start going to the gym, uh, but that it, maybe that will be the year of 2025. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while since I went and did like weight training, but that's what I love the absolute most. And then after that I had lunch and filmed the collaboration. So I tried to put makeup on for the first time in like four days, but it actually feels good. Like I just did a super light foundation just to, you know, look a bit more light. But uh, yeah, so far it doesn't hurt. So that's good. I thought now winter is coming. I already started with some Christmas decoration. I know it's early, but it was just this one with a flower. Like my plan was to have that in the space under the TV where it's just like too open, but it was too long. And then also these ones in this window and the slippers are on, it's getting cold, and here. So that's nice. I also changed my winter tires, or to my winter tires yesterday, so winter is coming. That's why I thought I have to go and check on the Attefals house, as we call it, like the extra house. And then I realized I've never showed you guys that house. It's not that much, it's, but it's like a, an extra house <laughs> that we have here. So I'm just gonna go check so like the heat is on and everything. You know what, I'm new to this. Like I haven't had a house in Sweden that I had to take care of like this. Like when we moved to Sweden, it was this summer house, but this is like a proper house. So uh, let's just go check. I guess there should be some kind of heat on it so it doesn't smell or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, then I thought I could show it to you. I haven't fixed it. I've ordered some furniture to it, but it hasn't arrived yet. So yeah, let's go there. I'll show you. So it's this house with a nice view. Let's go in. And I've been in here like, Three times maybe. <laughs> but yeah, it's warm and cozy in here. We have a couch. We have some curtains. We have the view. So my plan is to move this one, as I told you before, the other way. So it's like, stands like this instead of like this. It's gonna stand like this. So here we have it. I bought like a rug, a little table, another couch. Uh, this was for my sister. Uh, they had to get rid of it so I took it over for now but I've ordered a, like a, a bed couch a couch that can turn into a bed if there's more people and here we have a kitchen and up here we have the bed which is not made and that's my dad's fault he was here last but super cozy like little summer cabin for my sister and her family when they're gonna sleep over you know but then add some plants and stuff you know so make it cozy. I mean, it's a proper like fridge in here, oven, everything. I put a coffee machine here as well. And here we have the bathroom. Like an extra house that came with the house. <laughs> um, no, but it's actually perfect to have it. Like when you live out on the countryside like we do out here, uh, it's nice if people want to sleep over or like, you know, stay longer. But yeah, now at least you saw it, super cozy. And imagine later when the kids are older, like if they want to have their own little house to start before moving to their own house or apartment. It's like a perfect start. So guys, I didn't manage to film earlier, but now I am on my way. Uh, I am going to the shopping mall here to uh, pick up a birthday gift I ordered for Leon. His birthday is on Tuesday. So I've ordered some gifts uh, and now one just arrived. So I'm gonna go pick it up before I pick up the kids. And then my mom and my sister's kids are coming for dinner. We're gonna make pizza. That's the plan. But uh, yeah, let's go to the mall. Home. In the trötta gänget? Ja. Ja, we're waiting for grandma to arrive, but now they want to paint their nails. Mama. We found all my nail polishes. Turned on these. It's so cozy. And now I'm gonna show you this one. Look how cute. How pretty. So pretty. I ordered bar stools now, so they will be here soon, I hope. 
four of them, ding, 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 ding. It's gonna look so nice. Then it's gonna look more ready, you know? And you see the pink sky out there. Oh, so nice. I'm gonna also show you outside. Oh, it's hard to show, but like on the three little spots in the garden and on the tree. So happy about it. Also gonna put some up there, but that's a later problem. But yeah, now at least we have some light in the garden. And all kids have arrived and mom has arrived with the food. We're gonna make pizza. This is like a prepared pizza though. She made it all night, yeah. <laughs> all by herself. No. And then we have some ham, we have some cheese. Some of the kids wanted this and this is a homemade pizza salad. You wanted pineapple on top. Is that a Swedish thing maybe? To have pineapple on pizza, I don't like it. Well, I love it. Isn't it called Hawaii or what is it called? Yes. Yeah. Do you like pineapple on pizza or is it only Swedish people that do? Let me know. And we have some snacks, drinks, everything. Ready, let's do it. And now, yummy! We're gonna watch some hockey. I'm very into hockey lately. <laughs> it's very interesting. So now, yeah. So now we're gonna watch some hockey and then these guys are going to bed, right? Mm. She have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> so, my mom just left and the kids and my kids. I just put them to bed. Leia fell asleep during the game and Leon stayed up all game. So now he just fell asleep in five minutes. We started reading books at night and he loves it. So I read him a quick book and then he fell asleep. The game was so intense. I always get so stressed when watching games, <laughs> but it was so much fun. The team I'm rooting for, they won. So that was good. Now I am gonna make a little cup of tea. I actually make tea in the coffee machine. Life hack. And then after that, I'm, oh, I'm gonna probably have a night snack as well. And then watch something on TV and then go to bed. Such a good day. So cozy to have my mom here and my sister's kids, my niece and nephew, the kids' cousins. Uh, I love that we live so close. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And it uh, feels good to be back in like the vlog game. You know, vlogging every week. Since everything is happening here every week, like something is happening here every week. Today was like the outdoor lights. And then like the new couch is coming on Monday for downstairs. I have a few things happening. So yeah, I hope you enjoy following along in the house journey as well. And then I'm ready to do the renovation vlogs when we're finally starting. But that will probably take a while since I got a reply from the people that I had a meeting with. I think it was in the last vlog or two vlogs ago. They said that it wouldn't be doable probably. So I have to figure, way, figure out a way around it. But we'll make it work. Somehow the pool would be there. Just have to figure out how. Now it was a really long ending, but uh, talk soon or see you soon. Ciao.